I love Yellowstone. There's no other place like it on the whole planet. The beautiful landscapes, the dramatic hydrothermals, lots of animals. Fishing's damn good too. How did all this come to be? It all started 2.1 million years ago with three huge eruptions from the Yellowstone volcano that ejected 600 cubic miles of ash and created a caldera that was 1,300 square miles in area, large enough to swallow all of Washington, D.C. and all of those suburbs. I would like to show you some of my favorite thermals and animals. Let's start with the thermals. Yellowstone is famous for its thermals, which come in many kinds, from beautiful artist paint pots to the hot pools to this pool, which produces 4,000 gallons of hot water every minute. Yellowstone has two-thirds of the world's geysers, starting with the icon of Yellowstone, Old Faithful. But there are many more. Castle Geyser is probably the oldest active geyser. Riverside Geyser, and maybe the most dramatic, Grand Geyser. There are also hidden thermals. This is the secret mud pot basin, largest in the park and not on any maps. This is the sixth group of mud pots in this whole area. This one's enormous. It must be almost 50 feet across. In 1872, Yellowstone National Park was created. It was created to protect the thermals. But in the process, it created an area large enough to be a whole ecosystem. The park's 12 million acres makes it big enough to support bison, elk, wolves, moose, and of course, bears. <laughs> Let's not forget the trout. The trout are feeding on salmon flies and traveling up the river through the rapids to spawn. If you have visited Yellowstone, you know that the bison believe they own the roads and create huge traffic jams. But when the rut starts, it can be very dangerous. Of the three million people that visit Yellowstone every year, less than one percent leave the road or the boardwalk. Very few venture onto the trails. The trails reveal all kinds of little interesting wonders. We're going to show you a few of them. This is Lone Star Geyser. It goes off about every three hours and can reach heights of 40 feet. This is Imperial Geyser. It's one of the backcountry geysers, about a four and a half mile hike from the road. This is Ferry Falls, only about seven-tenths of a mile from Imperial Geyser. Ferry Falls is 197 feet tall and one of the tallest falls in the park. My favorite time of year is in the fall, when the morning mist on the river reveals an almost magical landscape. This is the time of year that the elk rut starts, and the elk move into the meadows for the rut, and the sound of bulls bugling echoes off the canyon walls. As summer fades into fall, the aspens turn their golden color. The mornings are now crisp and cold. The rut is in full force. With fall, we end our season in Yellowstone.